Hey everybody, this is Midnight Poyo, and uh, for this video I'm going to give everyone a one-on-one -on -one demonstration on how to be an effective meth head. Um, unfortunately, an actual meth habit and lifestyle is expensive and time-consuming, so I've decided to use the medium of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas to perfectly illustrate the ins and outs and inner workings of being the best tweaker you can be. Um, so if you'll analyze our character here, uh, we're wearing basically no clothing. Um, that would be the optimum um, outfit. Uh, it makes you more aerodynamic and as you can see here it makes you a lot faster and uh, a hat is absolutely fine. Um, but you're gonna want to be able to move quickly and use your superhuman junkie strength and stamina to get around. And at some point you're gonna want to grab a set of wheels. You don't really need to worry about whose car it is. Just make sure that it's a shitty car and then you're gonna to want to park somewhere usually right in front of somebody's house is a good choice and then you're just gonna to want to continue uh, being a cool guy jumping off of roofs and running around tweaking is a time-consuming and difficult lifestyle and very underrated I think um, as you can see here from the simulation it takes a lot of gusto a lot of heart and grit determination and a lot of methamphetamine and so another way you're gonna to want to keep up this lifestyle is you need money. The best way to do it is to take it from other people, but you have to choose your targets carefully, like those two guys, not a good choice. And you might think that old woman, perhaps, uh, would be a convincing target, but she probably only has some Lipitor and pictures of her grandkids, so that won't fetch you much money. You're better off with a character like this, nondescript, plaid shirt. You're gonna want to hit him with a baseball bat first, like, and then will probably start running, in which case you'll need to chase after him again, tapping into that superhuman junkie strength that you possess. And then you're going to want to get to stamping. You're going to want to stamp him right on the butt many, many times. Don't worry too much about onlookers. They'll probably be more impressed by your physical prowess um, than anything else. Um, that man right there didn't have any money. So when that happens, it's customary to start firing your gun wildly in no particular direction. We're gonna try with this guy right here, striped shirt, again nondescript. If the baseball bat doesn't work, you can always pull out the wild card and the pistols. You see right here, he had about $19. So with your newfound $19, uh, the next step would be to get some food to eat. And again, when you're maneuvering around as a meth head, you don't need to worry too much about going to other people's backyards. There's no such thing as private property in your world. You can just sort of skip hop and jump your way to success. So with our newfound money, we're going to enter into this fine chicken eatery. You know, just because you're a meth head doesn't mean that you can't have a healthy diet. So in a lot of cases, you're going to want to opt for something a bit more sensible for your health, like the salad meal. Um, because you might be addicted to methamphetamines and a danger to yourself and others, but there's no reason not to count calories. Next stop on the life of uh, an aspiring meth head would be a gym. Uh, don't worry too much about paying for a membership. You'll probably be able to get in. And then what you're gonna want to do is get on the nearest uh, stationary bicycle, crank that bitch up to a high level, and just sort of pedal maniacally with a blank stare off into the distance. You can imagine yourself being chased by demon wizards or Cthulhu or your ex-wife with child support payments. So once you've finished up on your stationary bike, it is customary to pick a fight with a stranger inside of the gym for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Um, this is the calling card and separates the posers from the real guns, the posers from the big boys, and you're gonna wanna flail around wildly, making it seem like you don't actually know what you're doing, and then of course end with the stamping and then you want to leave quietly. No reason to make any more of a scene. You've already made your point. That about wraps up my guide on how to be an effective meth head. Hopefully you've learned some tips and tricks to be the coolest meth head on your block. Until next time.